kick in soon I just took it so how long does it take to start working you guys but it's really beautiful here so that's the good news it's a really nice place and everybody's really nice because I've, I've been here before so let's see what happens guys they just brought me in this room and um, they gave me socks and a robe so I gotta change into this. Oh guys, this is the look. <laughs> Passion. Guys, I just left and you are definitely my lucky charms because I had, you know, an amazing time. Everything was so good. And can I tell you, I, I didn't want to tell you, but last time I had to get this done, I had a panic attack and it was really bad. But this time it was amazing. I mean, it was, I didn't, I pretty much just fell asleep. So it's because of you guys, you're my lucky charms. So look, at, let's do it. Oh, oh ding, ding. I'm going to go see Roxy's waiting outside for me. I'm so happy. This is my favorite Greek restaurant right here. It is so good. Yeah, yeah, yes, I think it's cool. I don't know, but you know what? They said there was like locusts in the city today. <laughs> they said the city had, there was bugs everywhere, but I don't see any bugs, thank goodness. So, oh, look at how pretty, a little church. Oh, St. Catherine Church. Jesus, thank you, Jesus, I had a great day. So guys, it's actually the next day, and believe it or not, they gave me my test results already. I can't believe it, but guys, it came back with all good news, no suspicious findings. I'm so happy, guys, because I've been <laughs> I've been so scared since last year because they make me go every year. So um, just because I'm high risk for different things. So um, so the test comes back and it. It, you know, hopefully it will say no suspicious findings. So I've been meditating about this, visualizing it, praying, of course, number one, ever since last year that I was, look at the paper and it says no suspicious findings, beauties, it said no suspicious findings. I'm so happy. I can't even begin to tell you because who wants to go through? I, I actually did get not good news at one point in time. So to, I'm always, you know. I'll tell you guys another day, but, um, so I'm always, you know, anyway, I'm so grateful to God. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. And guys, I got the Greek food yesterday, but I don't know what happened to me. You know, I have been eating very simple food and things like that. And I think that I actually, I felt like I was lactose intolerant from the, um, I had tzatziki sauce and then I had the Greek yogurt it was so good with the honey and the walnuts but i started to feel so sick it was crazy i was like in excruciating pain i don't know if it was something maybe because they had put contrast in my body 
Oh, did I gotta tell you guys real quick? Oh my gosh, should I tell you now? Let me tell you, the guy, um, when I went to get them, or I don't know if I told you yesterday because I was took medicate, you know, I took some medication to help me relax. So I don't even know what I told you. <laughs> um, guys, they, I go in to get, they have to put contrast IV in your arm. So the guy's putting it in. First of all, he looked, he reminded me exactly of Christian Bale, American Psycho. He was just so perfect. He was talking so perfect. He had this part. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, it was, he was, I was being nice to him though, of course, you know, and of course I'm like, please don't hurt me. <laughs> well, guys, he goes like this to me, which arm do you want it in? So I was like my left arm. So he p puts it in my left arm and we were just chit chatting and, um, he goes, oh my God, something's gone wrong. And I was just like, oh my God. And now I have had, I had a, a full blown panic attack last time I was there at the MRI. That's why I was so scared to have another. I had a panic attack in the machine. The whole thing was excruciating for me because mentally because I, I'm claustrophobic. I also had been diagnosed OCD. So I'm very um, scared of all these things, you know, and um, so he starts going, oh my God, what's going on here? Something's gone wrong. And I was like, and but thank God I started praying. And I said, just stay calm, just stay calm. You know, I said, don't look, I because he was going, and he was going, look at this. He goes, look, there's blood everywhere. And I was like, what? From putting a needle in my arm, like what? And first of all, it was hurting so bad. I mean, not so bad. No, I'm not going to say that. It didn't hurt, but it was hurt. And so I was like, I just focused. I found a spot on the wall and I just said, just don't look. Just don't even pay attention to him. I just started blocking him out. I started praying and he was trying to get me like upset. Like, cause he was going, look at this, look at this. And I was like, why would I look at this? And I was just like, oh my God. Like, but no, but I stayed calm. Thank God. And I just blocked him out and I was just like we're gonna get through this just don't look at him don't pay attention to him I didn't even answer him because he was going he started saying to me oh you wanted your right arm right but you can't you can't get your you, we, we're gonna have to do your right arm now you didn't want that right it was so weird it was like he was trying to get a reaction out of me to get upset I think there's to be honest I do, I have met a few people when you go me to go to the doctor enough there's like these people they want to see you get upset at the you know, I call them psychopath. You know, psychopaths. I think there's some of them out. Especially maybe they get a job in the medical field because not not everybody, of course. I'm saying these there's these random people because I've met a few of them and I was just like, hmm. Well, I just ignored him, ignored him, and then he goes, oh, and then he started doing the other arm, and I just prayed. I kept praying. I said, please Jesus, make everything go away, not be fine, not hurt. Actually, I said, please Jesus, make it not hurt. And I swear to God, guys, didn't even it didn't even hurt. He did the next one, and it did not hurt. And then he ran out of the room. And then he goes, oh, you could go to the bathroom, wait in the waiting room. And he ran away. I swear to God, guys. So um, then the nurse or the MRI person came. They're doing the fireworks, guys. Louis is going to be so scared. Oh, my God, my poor little boy. He's scared of fireworks. I know, Papa scared why are they doing that anyway guys um the mri person came and got me and she saw him standing like in the hallway and she goes and for some reasons i don't know how she knew but she goes you didn't even she goes you didn't even put um the stickers on her because they had to put stickers on me where you had surgery or whatever and uh he goes oh uh, uh and she goes forget it i'll do it and she took me and she put the stickers on me. He, he, he ran out of the room. He didn't even finish like what he was supposed to do. He was supposed to put stickers on me where I had, because I had to have a, because uh, I had um, cells in the past, so I had to have the cells removed. DCIM, I believe it's called. Doctor, it's, anyway, I don't, I don't want to talk about it right now, but I did have those cells and I had to get them removed. So um, now they check me to make sure they're not coming back and things like that. But anyway, he didn't even put the, the stickers on me because he was up to no some kind of no good. I don't know what, but he again, he ran out of room, didn't even finish his job. I needed those stickers. 
they need the stickers. Imagine, thank God she noticed and she did it. And then guys, when I was walking, I was in the, like the waiting room waiting for the MRI person. And then, so on the way back, I passed the room where he put my, the, the IV in my arm. And I saw there, I couldn't believe it. Cause I was telling myself he's, li he's lying. It's not true just to get through. And I walked through and there was blood everywhere. He, oh, that was nothing. He left blood all over the floor and ran out of the room. There was my blood all over. And so that's proof. Like, I know you guys believe, I'm not even exaggerating. Why would he run out of the room and leave blood everywhere? And then he was just like hanging out in the hallway like he was on a coffee break or something. He didn't go clean it up and didn't put my stickers on. It's, it's, but I, I don't care guys, I'm just telling you because this is what happened. Because uh, I'm grateful to God that I didn't get upset. I didn't have a panic attack. Did I tell you guys? I had the MRI, I was just fine. I wasn't, first, I, first time ever because I've had quite a few where I've been having, been terrified having panic attacks and things like that. I didn't have a panic attack. I was like meditating the whole time and in the past I was took medicine so it just didn't really work for me but this time everything was great like I said you guys are my lucky charms because I, I I was so and now today I got my good news and I don't have to worry anymore so I'm gonna go to church now guys I'm so happy thank you Jesus for my good news and my and my my perfect health I've been meditating about it and uh, praying of course every day and uh i'm so grateful so i'm gonna head out now because i am running it late but i'll be back later guys and thanks for coming along with me because i it really helps me to have you guys there to have someone to talk to because my husband doesn't come up with me because it's too hard he has to sit in the car with roxy so <laughs> but i want her there too though because she's makes me feel calm in the car and all that you know so anyway guys come on papa say bye bye we'll see you guys later love you dolls bye